What is up, planet? It is the priest. I'm back with another pick a card reading. In today's pick a card reading, I'm going to be focusing on where you currently are in your soul journey or soul mission. If you guys are new to my channel, shout out to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the planet where we embrace love, happiness, freedom, and most importantly, truth. If you guys are interested in booking a personal reading or finding out information about my book or anything else that I have going on, you can find all of that information in the description box below. Here is a close up view of all four of the decks that you guys can choose from. Remember, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and feel free to do so. We have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. There's no such thing as choosing the wrong deck. It's the first deck that your intuition is being called to. So trust that and go with that. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see where you guys are currently at in your soul mission or your soul journey. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and where you currently are in your soul journey or soul mission. All right, we have priestess. How are you being called to step up and lead? Trust the Nigel or the Nigel. Creating heaven on earth, it's happening. And where are you being called to journey to? So right off the bat with these four cards, I feel as though uh, some of you guys have not really answered the call in your soul journey or soul mission. Also, I feel like some of you may not know exactly what your soul mission or soul calling is. Um, this seems to be more determined on your faith and your connection with intuition. So many of you guys are being called in journey to different parts of the world, different places, um, different uh, friendships, different relationships. And so it seems like there is a blockage in you guys answering the call in where you're going. But most importantly, this feels like a disconnect from trusting the universe and intuition. So some of you guys, um, higher self, spirit, intuition is trying to connect with you, um, but you're kind of doubting it. You're overlooking it. So you may see numbers, coins, signs, and you're just overlooking it. So this feels like there needs to be more self-awareness, but more observing of your surroundings. So for instance, if you guys are driving along and you see a sign and it says, take charge of your destiny, this is a form of communication from your higher self. So a lot of you guys, um, higher self is like trying to nudge at you, but you're overlooking it. Um, a lot of this is coming from a lack of trust with yourself and questioning whether or not this is communication from higher self. And secondly, it's about your disconnect with your higher self. So let's just see what's going on there. Okay, so with the sacred vision, this also tells me that you are blocking out communication also from a place of visualization. So your higher self is trying to communicate with you through dreams, through visions, through things that you see. Um, again, but you guys are kind of overlooking this. Uh, right now you're being called to journey. So on your soul mission, you haven't really started your mission just yet. So if you guys chose deck number one, it's like there's a mission, there's a journey. However, a lot of you guys have not become aware to this mission or um, not really understanding where you're going. And this again comes from a lack of clarity, a lack of vision. I wouldn't be surprised if the third eye chakra was here. Yeah, third eye chakra. Um, and it's just because you, you're solely relying on your physical eyes and it's really hard to see where you're being called to journey to. Um, so you haven't really went through the initiation. It seems like um, you guys are have not started your soul mission and that's because there's a disconnect in communication. Remember your higher self intuition is gonna communicate with you through signs, through numbers, through excitement, through um, intuition and through inspiration. But for you also, I feel like you guys have a gift of clairvoyance, which tells me that it also hasn't been activated. This is dreams, imagination, uh, visions. Again, remember I said that billboard, that sign. So really, before you guys can start your soul journey, there needs to be a level of observance so that you know exactly where you're going, right? So if you're being called to journey somewhere and you don't know where you're going, this means that you're pretty much blindfolded in this world. And the only way that you can really move towards where you're being called to journey to is based off of vision and feeling rather than thinking. All right, also we have um, a lot of karmic energy, cycles and phases, karmic karma releasing, move beyond drama, create your own path. So there's an initiation into starting your soul journey. A lot of you are being called to step up and lead, right? However, again, 
you are missing this communication because you're unaware of the uh, ways that your higher self communicates. So before you can do that, it seems like there needs to be a lot of cleansing, a lot of releasing. So anytime we have phases and cycles and karma releasing, this tells me that there are things around you that are not serving you people around you that are not serving your soul mission and before you can start your mission because it seems like if this is you then you're being called to be a leader but you haven't answered that call just yet your soul mission and soul purpose is in a leadership role but the reason that you have not went through initiation is because you haven't moved beyond drama okay a lot of you also what i'm getting is you're relying on other people to create your own path it's funny that i said that with the billboard like take could take charge of your destiny or whatever I said just previously because it says create your own path. A lot of you do not trust your judgment, do not trust your clarity in making decisions. So it's like you're being called to being called to journey to something much greater, which is creating heaven on earth. This is creating your own reality, being a leader and being able to inspire and empower others by doing that. However, you have a lack of trust in yourself to make uh, decisions, a lack of judgment when making decisions and what does this come from is your third eye okay so you uh who have chosen this deck have to start believing in yourself to be able to create your own path anytime this card comes up or the hermit card comes up um this is all about trusting in your own judgment to lead the way um this is not going to come from people this type of communication and as far as uh, touring and guiding you to on this journey is not going to come from people. It's going to come from within. So move beyond drama. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are being revealed. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light and all. Remember that love has no boundaries. So there's a lot of fear here. Again, we have this card trapped in fear. This is mental imprisonment. This is enslavement mentally, right? A lot of you are being called to journey to a beautiful place in this world, right? I always say that this world can be heaven or hell. It's based on your perception. And so a lot, you guys are going through a lot. I feel like there's a lot of heavy energy. There's a lot of low frequency energy, low frequency energy being drama, things that are not serving you, unhappiness, fear, uh, shame, guilt, anger. All of these are low frequency emotions. And some of you are kind of just like, uh, bad things follow you or people with drama tend to uh, be attracted to you and so you're being asked to move beyond that and create your own path which means that this journey is going to be a solo journey but it's also to get you prepared to lead and step up remember a leader um, and someone who is stepping up creates their own pathway right that's the point of being a leader you are the leader of your own life and destiny where are you being called to it's also um, going to mean that you have to come out of this place of fear mentally because it is enslaving you. We have trapped in fear and the best way that you guys can move towards your journey, because again, if you guys chose this deck, this tells me that you haven't started your journey just yet. And that's because you're kind of like in this place, um, trapped with low frequency things, drama and fear. And in order to be able to see clearly over the drama is to open up your third eye chakra. And this is all about intuition and um, being able to be guided by your intuition. All right, let's see what else is going on. Yeah, we have lead again. So your soul mission in journey is centered heavily around leadership, which tells me that you can no longer be a follower of other people's paths. You have to create your own. And so as you see, even with this card, he is being led by his higher self. You are always being guided by your higher self, but there needs to be an establishment of a relationship between you and your higher self because you're missing the mark. Like I say in my other videos, higher self is not gonna come to your door and knock and say, hey, trying to communicate with you. Remember that me communicating with my higher self, higher self communicating with me is like me trying to communicate with a crab and saying, no, don't go this way. Like there's a blockage of communication. We're talking about different dimensions here. So be observant and be aware so that you can start your soul journey. And again, remember you haven't started your soul journey because you are living in fear or you're afraid of the unknown. That's something that's coming up too. Yeah, feeling alone. There's a major disconnect between you and spirituality, um, new energy. So, and heal. Wow, you guys have been through a lot. <clears throat> And um, it's, it's, 
it's not just people around you it's also a little bit of self-sabotage in not being able to believe in your capabilities of leadership um, not being able to believe that you can live a life that is heaven on earth um, and so there's triggering there is uh, communication that is coming in that's necessary for you to observe but also with this new vitality this tells me that in order to break these phases and cycles because you guys are going like this a lot in your life um, and you're wondering why low frequency things are attracted to you or there's a lot of healing there's a lot of forgiveness remember you're going on this journey and it's like what I see with you guys is you're trying to go towards this journey but you have a lot of fear you don't have a lot of faith and you're afraid to take that leap and this also feels like you have a, like three bags and you're just carrying them and so spirit is like before you start your journey let's start it from a clean slate which means you must choose to heal things that have happened so that you can break the phases and cycles remember all of the stuff that you guys have been experiencing even this year and last year and in your life is here to prepare you for your journey towards creating heaven on earth which is just simply fulfillment and happiness here so your soul mission is um has not started just yet because there needs to be a lot of clearing and how do you do that choose to forgive in order to heal remember that we're forgiving not for the other person but for ourselves so that we can move forward the more we start to purify ourselves spiritually the much easier it will be to hear that's another thing is like there's some judgment that is clouding and distorting the communication that's trying to come in what is this move beyond drama like it, there needs to be some type of isolation so that you guys can hear um and hear and, and another thing is you haven't really discovered just who you are just yet so there's a lot of healing we have the hangman we have judgment uh, we have the devil so we do have capricorn energy here we have leo energy here on the board so far yeah that's about it so with the strength the devil judgment and hangman first of all these are all major arcana cards this tells me that you are going through a huge spiritual awakening so the things that are happening the shit that seems like it's falling apart is here to move you towards the journey, move you towards the journey to much more happiness and fulfillment. So when, when anytime we have the strength card, the devil card, the judgment card, which is spiritual awakening, and the hangman, some of you guys are coming to dead ends in your life and not exactly sure where to go. This is purposely set up for you to turn around and for you to be much more observant and um, open to, and receptive to communication so that you can start your journey. But remember, this journey, you have to see this as you have a tourist, you have a tour guide that's leading you through a place that's unknown to you. You've never been there. Your tour guide is your higher self. And so you're never going to know where to go or where to uh, start your journey if there's a disconnect with spirit. So with this, it's going to take a lot of strength. Um, it's going to take a lot of releasing. With, with the devil card, there's codependency, depending on other people to lead you, depending on other people to give you their opinions about what you should do in your life. You guys are moving beyond this so that you can start making decisions for yourself. All right, let's see what else we have to wrap this up. Two of Swords, whatever I decide, I trust the outcome. That's what I'm saying. You guys have a lot of fear in making decisions because you're, you're overthinking that you're making the best decisions for yourself. And so there's a lot of confusion mentally. Also, another thing that I'm getting for you is if you chose this deck, in order to break this karmic cycle, these phases, it's going to take something new in your life. Do something differently change, uh, so that you can change this cycle and so you can break this cycle. Um, be open to that. There is going to be some loneliness again because that's, that's higher self isolating you from the people around you. They're not helping you grow. Queen of Pentacles, I have everything I need to prosper. There's a lot of trust that's here. Yeah, I trust myself to see the truth. So you guys are being challenged to be able to see the truth, to be able to trust your, your judgment and also your tour guide. We have poise, which is grace, and also peace. So again, something that you guys are really longing for and when you will start to feel peace is when you open yourself back up to spirit and higher self. And this is just from a place of love because again, this is really heavy energy, okay? And we have karmic energy phases, cycles, trapped in fear. And the thing that you guys are looking for the most is grace and peace. So I have to share this with you guys. Forgive yourself for the things that have happened already in the past and allow yourself to be open to creating a new uh, present moment for yourself. Remember, we cannot live in the past. And so a lot of you guys are just longing for peace. 
and a lot of the things that are happening around you that may seem chaotic is to get you to a place of peace. So um, this is heavily centered in your, uh, your purpose and your soul journey is peace and poise, which is just grace. Clearing negativity. Yes, release negativity from within and around you. There's a lot of negativity, which is, again, blocking communication from your tour guide to be able to lead you on the journey. It's also blocking your perception of being able to see the good, right? Um, when we see so many bad things happening, it's really hard for us to uh, predict a good thing happening the next day, right? Because we're so used to things failing or things not working out. But again, this is part of your spiritual awakening to provoke you into seeing things a lot differently. Like I said before, heaven or hell, it's 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 all mental, it's all perception in which you want to choose. Um, the last thing I wanna say to you, deck number one, with where you are on your journey, again, you haven't started it just yet, but there is a new life that's, that's waiting on the other side of you changing your perception about how you see things, how you see the world. Um, remember that happiness is a choice, and as much as that, that is very painful to um, admit, there are a lot of baggage that is weighing you down and preventing you from flying. Remember, flying is being free and it starts here. It's all mental. With you guys, it's all mental. And once you shift that and open yourself up to trusting more, then you will be able to start your soul journey. But again, don't be so hard on yourself. Release the things that are around you that are weighing you down or they feel very heavy in weight. And I do feel like you guys are gonna have a lot more clarity in where you're going so that you can trust the process of the journey. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and where are you currently on your soul mission or soul journey? Again, remember, stay encouraged. We're all on the same journey, just taking different paths. Don't be so hard on yourself. Be observant, be aware of the communication that's trying to come in to get you on that right path. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back per usual. I'm moving on to deck number two. All right, if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and where are you currently on your soul journey or soul mission? Your guidance is divinely guided. Releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. You're already doing it. Stop overthinking. And protection. If you guys chose number two, you have a very big soul mission and soul journey. Anytime I get these two cards, you know, this is here, uh, it tells me that you are also being called to leadership, okay? So deck number two, you're being called to leadership. And again, this leadership is not going out and pulling people on board. This is you walking and leading by example. Um, you do have some past life karmic contracts that are being released, but this is also coming from a place of trust. There needs to be some trust here. Look at all this stuff that you guys are dealing with. Psychic insight, call to action. Uh, now, when I say that there needs to be some trust, this is allowing spiritual uh, spirituality into your life um, in order to do that. So where you are on your journey is I feel like uh, you guys may have been a little bit more intrigued in spirituality, uh, but you you have not waken up just yet to your full potential. Um, a lot of you know that there's something that you're supposed to do that requires leadership, um, and you're being called on your journey right now to see truth for what it is, but to follow your intuition, um, choose to be loved. So a lot of you are also being divinely guided when it comes to love. Um, and loving people, loving people who have hurt you, but also cutting the cords. You guys have a lot of soul patterns and um, needing releasing. So you're actually already starting the journey. So you, you have already started the journey. And I feel like right now, there are certain things, certain circumstances in your life that are occurring that may, may make you feel like you're lost, but you're actually not. You're on the right path. And a lot of the things that have occurred in your soul mission is to wake you up to more psychic ability. All right, let me see what else is here before I get into the green card, uh, because you guys have a much more, yeah. So you're very, you do have intuition, 
It's just that you haven't trusted it. So you guys have already started your soul mission into being a leader, to being a commander, call to action of care and compassion and love. So uh, setting an example, some of you guys, again, I'm just gonna call out a few of you. Some of you can be the pillar of your family or a uh, pillar of your friendships. A lot of people call you for advice or you're seen as very strong. It seems like you are already uh, walking on this journey um, and have strengthened a lot more of your intuition However, like I said, you started the journey, but it seems like a roller coaster. Like you started the, the journey of spirituality, but things are happening and, and coming up. And so it is just to get you on the right track to uh, wake you up to more of your spirituality. All right, so we have Taurus energy. A lot of you are being challenged. Yeah, we have Taurus energy, we have Libra energy, uh, Seven of Cups, and uh, we have Virgo energy. So we have a lot of spirituality here or spiritual cards. Um, your guys' mission is quite complex. There's a lot of complexity here, uh, but you're being called to being more spiritual. I don't feel like you have discovered just how powerful you are just yet. And a lot of you have psychic insight that you uh, have not waken up to. Sometimes you feel like you know something and you feel your instincts telling you that, but on this journey and your soul mission is like, you started it, but the reason why it's not progressing much further is because there's a lack of trust also in your intuition and a lack of trust in your own inner voice, trusting your inner, inner voice. Now with the higher font here, this tells me that you're being challenged with your spiritual beliefs. So there's also, cause I feel like you started the journey, but there's a roadblock and it's like, there's a stop. There's a, there's a blockage here. And the blockage is questioning exactly what it is that you believe. What exactly is your truth? Like, uh, this is where you at, you're at on your soul mission. Once you make a distinctive decision for uh, what your truth is or what you're choosing to believe spiritually, because remember, when I say spirituality, I'm not talking about religion. I'm talking about the entities that are communicating with us that we all feel, that we label names, but we know is there. And that entity, that uh, these entities are spiritual beings. And so it seems like the blockage is your mind constantly uh, blocking you from completely submiss submitting to higher self. There you go. Because the challenge is your mind and intuition. Um, you're tempted to be in your ego, uh, but intuition is telling you to be the bigger person. So a lot of you are challenged to be the bigger person in every single situation. And it's like the, the person that you're called to be is a leader. So a lot of the things that are happening in your life and circumstances you will feel like the first. You may be the first to have graduated. You must be, you could be the first child or you could be the first to be at a job for five years and have a salary job or you could be the first to start your own business or get married. But there's a lot of um, new nuances here that you guys are creating and it's because you've trusted intuition enough to start the soul journey. Yeah, because your guys' journey is very complicated. It's, you know, with the temptation and the intuition, it's like, are you tempted by ego and what you think or are you surrendering that and trusting that intuition is going to guide you? So we also have justice in Libra. Again, this is just releasing soul patterns, contracts, past lives, and calling back your power. So the blockage here is one, relinquishing logic and opening up more to spirituality. Two, um, leading by example or taking charge over the decisions that you're making in your life. And three, releasing all of these cords because people see this greatness in you and they know where you're going and they they tend to attach themselves to you and so those cords need to be cut because unknowingly and subconsciously um there's a lot of energy that is pulling on you because you know when you see someone and you're like oh i know they're going to be successful you try to hold on to them that's kind of what i'm seeing with you is the people around you and so you will be taking some time on this uh, soul mission because you've already started the process. It's just now trusting more of your inner voice, trusting more of your truth and really having the clarity of beliefs, really knowing exactly what you believe and not in standing your ground on that. All right, I am proud of what I achieved and I accept my awards. Yeah, so a lot of people look up to you. Um, I don't know if you know this, but the people around you watch you. And that's why I said you could be the first to do things that people said that could never be done. Um, that's kind of what a, your soul mission is here to do. And so when people are angry and upset, you're here to lead an example by bringing care and compassion, doing something differently. 
going against the grain. So you have a lot of public recognition for that. A lot of people admire that about you. I make decisions without pressure. But again, this is about making decisions for yourself, thinking for yourself and um, trusting in your intuition. You have psychic insight. Though you haven't activated it completely just yet, your third eye, your penile gland is going to show you what is way beyond the surface right sometimes we see people and we're like why are they so upset we have no idea what they're going through with the third eye activated you can see past that you can see past the fact that this person is being angry and and more so being able to communicate in a sense of are you okay what are you angry about like you have a gift and an opportunity to help more people because of the insight that you have um and so the road blockages a lot in your life is also because I feel like you have this tendency to want to help people. And so as you're on this journey, you're turning around and looking back at the people who are distracted, like, come on. And you're waiting to progress in your life based off of what they're doing. You have to go. Because remember, the more you go, the more you lead, you're leading by an example for people to follow. They will follow you. You don't have to stop and go get them. So that's kind of what the road blockages that I'm feeling are for you also. Um, your psychic insight is going to be very strong as you start to release low frequency energy, whether that's resentment, um, whether that is uh, things that have happened in the past or um, things that are keeping you bound. Again, you are here to be free and you're doing that already. Um, but there needs to be more trust in your ability to be able to live the life that you desire. Yeah, I speak my truth and fairness to myself. We have Libra energy twice, justice card again. Um, so this is like, people are gonna have their opinions about what you're doing. They're gonna have your opinions about where you are in your journey, but it's not for them to understand. All they see is the direction that you're going. And that's part of your soul mission is just to walk the walk, right? Instead of talking about it, Stop talking about this, um, this soul journey and what you want to do and just start taking action and doing it. I see the truth in this ending. So yeah, there are some endings. A lot of you, again, you have psychic insight. You know when something feels uncomfortable. You know when something doesn't feel right. You know when a friendship is getting ready to end. And so you, the quicker you can uh, move forward on your soul mission and just release things and trust that it's for the right reason, the, the more you will accelerate in your soul mission, round and round, yeah. Because there's a lot of things that are, that are just repeating themselves. Also, mending, mending relationships, but this is also the relationship with yourself and the um, intuition and higher self by the book, yeah. So here's the really cool thing about you. You, remember how I said you're the first, right? A lot of the things that you're gonna do is new. So a new, you have a new perspective, uh, you have a new way of thinking, and so it's not by the book. It's not gonna be traditional. With the higher font and the reverse, this is not traditional ways of thinking and that's okay. You have to be comfortable with knowing that your higher self is guiding you in the right direction even if it feels uncomfortable or it looks odd or abnormal. Um, because how else can we inspire others if we're doing the same thing that everyone else is doing? Inspiration comes from a person choosing to do something differently. And so that's what you're here to also do. So this is just building blocks. And that's exactly where you are. You've already started the soul mission, the soul journey. You're just building on that and elevating more. Challenging times. Healing begins. Taking the lead, like I was saying earlier. Teach, yeah. So again, you, you guys are teaching people not by opening your mouth, but by leading by example, taking the lead to do so, believing and succeeding. Again, you're doing things that people have not done. So they're going to say, that's impossible. How is that gonna work? Why would you think that way? You're here to believe differently and succeed. And that's where your inspiration from others are going to. And you're gonna notice people are gonna start following you. And you don't really have to speak anymore as long as you follow your intuition. And the last one here is the solar plexus chakra. This is about your willpower. This is also about high self-esteem, right? High self-esteem, trusting in your ability, but also having confidence. So the lack of confidence that you have is trusting in yourself, okay? Now the healing that's here, reach out for emotional and spiritual support, heal and mend your heart. So the challenging times, it's interesting because what I'm really sensing from you is that the challenging times in healing has really come from you extending help to others 
and um, people not really receiving that or feeling like you uh, sacrifice a lot to help people be also because again, you've already started your soul mission and your soul journey. And so you have a little bit more insight than others. And so a lot of this healing is just coming from wanting the best for others. It's not something that is really like people directly hurt people, like hurt you, even though we've all been hurt. This hurt is more of like wanting the best for people. So you have a lot of caring and compassion. And one thing that you just have to understand on this soul mission is that you are here to lead by example. And as a leader, you are not following any body or anything except for your higher self. And that's where your soul journey is going to start propelling is when you relinquish um, overthinking this and uh, you start uh, releasing endings, releasing people, calling back your power and start taking initiation into uh, furthering your soul mission and soul journey. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Stay encouraged on your mission. Do not give up on this mission. You're already doing it. You're already there. Moving on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and where are you currently on your soul mission and soul journey? You are not alone. You've been training for this for lifetimes. Leap and yes. So it looks like you have yet to start your soul journey or your soul mission. However, it's like you guys know about the soul mission. So while others have not started this mission, you have started this by understanding that there's more. So this soul mission and this soul journey is like you, you have awareness that there is a journey, which is a great place to start. However, you are being um, blocked by fear. You are afraid to take the leap because you're not exactly sure where you will land. But the interesting thing is you're not alone, like the card says, and you've been training for this for lifetimes, which tells me that you have been here before and you have the ability to do what you desire to do, but it is certainly going to take a leap of faith. So where are you on your soul journey based on these cards is you know there's a soul journey, you're aware of the soul journey, and you've been there visually, but you have yet to take the leap of faith physically. There's a lot of fear here. So you are going through an ascension and a heart awakening. If you guys chose deck number three, this is a very heavy soul mission. While all of our purposes are uh, worthwhile and um, meaningful, remember, like I say all the time, even a small bumblebee has a giant purpose. You have a great purpose. So you're awakening to acceptance. You are moving into your true self and your dreams, visions, and goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. You have the ability to manifest exactly the reality that you want to live. A lot of the triggers that you're having are in the heart. And also a lot of your fear is by um, being afraid to take the leap of faith and just saying yes. So you're moving into your true self. You're rising above darkness. But what this tells me is anytime with ascension, remember ascension is going up, descension is going down. You're moving towards your higher self. Now, also what I'm feeling like is the confidence in you and the confidence in higher self to be able to guide you. There is a disconnect like many of us are having in this particular pick a card reading is the amount of trust that is required for you to take a leap of faith. It says you go first and the universe will catch you. Um, as you see, she's still here. And it's interesting because she's here physically, but spiritually she's already taken a leap of faith. That's kind of where you guys are on your journey is uh, all you have to do now is just say yes. Yes to the soul mission. Yes to the journey. And everything that has occurred in your life have pretty much prepared you for this moment right now. And that is to say yes to the leap of faith into moving towards your true self. Now I wanna explain something to you guys that I'm coming to a realization is we, time is very limited. And I feel like we're not in a place just yet where we've accepted the fact that we're not going to be here for a long time. And sometimes we have coincidences or occurrences or events that take place that are wake up calls and reminding me like, oh my gosh, like I need to live my life. And we know like when people are getting ready to pass, someone who did the study of what their biggest regrets were and some of their regrets at the top were just not living a life that they felt like was worth fulfillment, not living a life uh, true to themselves. And so you have the opportunity right now 
to change the way you are living and start dreaming more and manifesting this reality. So you have a call to positivity and hope much greater than anyone else has. And that is because of who you are. And basically what I'm meaning is do not get sucked into fear because this fear does not belong to you. It is time to take the leap of faith and to understand that the longer you wait, the longer you're prolonging your happiness. The world card is here. Cycles, 10 of Pentacles in reverse, the sun card. So it's like, wow, the star card, the sun card. Gosh, this makes me so happy. You are literally on the other side of the life that you've already like always desired. Um, if you could just see what I'm seeing with your life, it's going to require a lot of faith and a lot of spirituality. But again, it, it's unfortunate that it takes us coming to rock bottom for us to want to live more or, um, you know, we're getting older, so it's time to live more. Spirit is basically saying, you're on your soul journey spiritually. You're already on it. Your spirit has already seen the happiness, the fulfillment. Um, a lot of you on your soul mission is to travel, is to experience this world, is to be free. Um, happy and hope. So we have the star card. You guys know this is my favorite card. We have a star card, which represents hope. The sun card, which represents happiness. The world card is literally waiting for you. The world is waiting for you to take a leap of faith. All you have to do is say yes and receiving. So this tells me also, not just with the 10 of Pentacles, but this is telling me that um, some of you may have some blockages subconsciously and feeling like you deserve this. And you absolutely do deserve this. And I'm going to keep going because there's so much more that's waiting for you. All right, I take the time to need, I need to rediscover my vitality, the world card again. I celebrate life and welcome new energy. Your life every day should be a celebration. It is absolutely possible to sustain happiness for longer than just a day, you know, longer than just holidays that we have to look forward to. You can be happy on the most odd random day, like February 23rd. You can be happy on random days. You don't have to wait until Christmas to experience this love, this life, and this energy. However, it's going to require a major leap of faith and you saying yes and submitting to higher self's vision to give you what it is that you desire. You also have the ability to manifest. Anytime magic manifesting is coming up, the reason why you're not able to manifest the life that you're living now is because you haven't moved into your true self just yet. You haven't moved into ascension. So... We also have Leo energy. We have Leo energy twice here. Uh, we have Aquarius energy also. Um, I can deal with whatever comes my way. So a lot of the things that are happening were to prepare you to break free and um, getting you to take this leap of faith. I am successful in all that I do. Uh, there's a lot of abundance that's waiting for you. Again, what I'm saying is abundance, happiness, hope um, on the other side of the door. However, I know that because I've taken the leap of faith, but you have to do that for yourself. You have to walk through that door for yourself. Obstacles and challenges are in the way, um, but you have the strength to be able to overcome them. It's almost like they're purposely there um, for you to take the leap of faith. Again, I'm not sure why we wait until our backs are against the wall before we start to live our life. But unfortunately, what happens is higher self, universe, whatever you believe, will create obstacles and challenges to start pushing you towards the leap. Like, well, I have nothing to lose. Might as well take the leap of faith now. And unfortunately, it takes us to get there for us to make that leap of faith. Victory and success. Yeah, you, um, you're on a beautiful journey here. And all you have to do is answer and receive it. It's very beautiful. Control. Let's talk about these blockages. Control, third eye chakra. Reaching out came out in the reverse. Choose your battles. All right, so let's talk about these first. Obstacles and challenges. A lot of the obstacles, challenges, and the battles that you're facing is, again, to prepare you to take the leap of faith. Because, again, like I just said, it takes us a while to want to do that. But also, a lot of the battles that you're choosing are not even for you. Uh, they're for other people. Um, they are unnecessary battles and obstacles. And, again, this comes from a sense of deserving. Um, there's something very heavy that I'm feeling on you. And that is that subconsciously, I don't feel like you deserve, like you feel like you deserve this life. Um, and it's very unfortunate because sometimes things present itself and we feel like it's too good to be true. So instead, um, you're choosing the hard way. 
instead of taking the leap of faith and saying yes, you're choosing um, the battles that you don't have to fight anymore and the obstacles and challenges too. So a lot of this is because Again, if you have a limited belief that hard work pays off or I must hard work hard to be, do this or I must, um, I must go through this obstacle to be able to be great, these are just limitations that you don't have to do. Remember, if you're choosing to believe that, you're creating that reality. So why not create a reality that is of peace, love, and happiness? Because for so long, we've been programmed to hard work pays off or when we work hard, we're rewarded. And so that's another thing that I want you guys to pay attention to is the obstacles and challenges um, you don't have to go through. You just have to make a decision to start choosing yourself and the happiness that's waiting for you. All right, so reach out. So some of you guys may need a life coach or may need some spiritual help. YouTube has amazing uh, free content that you guys can start searching and um, building a, a more of an established relationship with your higher self so that you can trust it more. Third eye chakra and control. Some of you guys are coming to the edge and you're like, oh, I'm going to take a leap of faith and you don't do it. And that's because you don't know what's going to happen. There is a fear of the unknown and uh, there needs to be a releasing of control. Meaning what happens when we take a leap of faith is out of our control and you have to be okay with not being in control. Because remember, you being in control has gotten you to where you are now. If you would like to expand and receive more, it's going to take more and that is take more faith and less control um, and controlling the outcome. And, and if I take a leap of faith, this, this, and this has to happen. The more you plan, um, the less you are inviting higher self in to make it happen. Remember, all you have to do is follow. Knowing how this is gonna happen is irrelevant. That's where your faith and trust comes in. Now the third eye chakra is um, giving you insight to your soul mission. Um, so that you can see it intuitively and not where you currently are. Because remember, sometimes our current circumstances can fog our vision in. If we're in the right place, are we going in the right place? Rebuild. Yeah, change your focus. So your focus is on fear. Your focus is on what if this doesn't happen. Um, your focus is on all of the things that are not bringing you uh, what you want. And so with the changing your, your focus, again, this is removing yourself from battles. You know what I'm saying? Like, this takes a lot of courage to just simply say no. Like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> and so uh, you guys are also being challenged to learn how to put yourself first and to just simply choose your battles. If some, cause I'm feeling like with you guys, people may latch onto you also. And it, it's time to like relinquish that. If it's, it's, if it's not your battle to fight, you don't have to uh, partake in it. And so you're learning also to put yourself first and in understanding that the only strength we need is the leap of faith. Everything else is unnecessary. All of the challenges and the battles that we put ourselves is very unnecessary. Life can be very simple if we let it be. All right, the fates. So this is fated. This is in your destiny for this to happen. Um, also what I'm feeling like is, again, guys, give yourself some time um, to imagine. Give yourself some time to imagine what this life would be like of happiness and fulfillment and hope. Um, so that you can start manifesting it. Remember, you have the ability to do that. Time to go. Again, it's time to release the baggage, the things that are weighing you down, the fears, the doubts that are keeping you on the cliff and um, preventing you from taking the leap of faith. So it is definitely time to go. Thinker, you're overthinking it. There is no way, like I said, to release, to let go, to take a leap. You just simply do it. And so a lot of you are also having trouble with how to do this. And there is no how to jump. You just jump. You know, I could say you bend your knees and you, I mean, that's, you just jump, right? And so you're overthinking things. You're overthinking the, a lot of the things. And, and the only place that you need to be to start this soul mission journey, because again, your spirit is already there, right? The only thing that you need to do is be able to trust. You guys were the only ones who had uh, two cards. So I'm going to read these. Um, life lessons. You can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and the blessing they contain. What is the lesson here? Every challenge is not yours to fight. Every obstacle doesn't have to be there. You can simply choose peace over chaos. You can simply choose happiness over unhappy. Um, also, life lessons is to change your focus, relinquish control. Okay, that's also part of your life lesson. And then we also have stay strong in your faith. A positive outcome is dependent on you keeping a positive mindset. This is the star card. This is hope, right? Everything that you are manifesting 
is built off of hope. So the more hope you have, the more you are able to manifest. But right now, I just want to share with you deck number three is the time to take the leap of faith and to see what's on the other door of a fulfilled life. Because there have been a lot of settling, there has been a lot of self-sabotage, meaning some of you guys are not exactly sure if you deserve this just yet. And higher self wants me to express that you do deserve that, that you have to believe that and understand that you're not alone. This is something that you're here to do for a lifetime, but your soul mission and soul journey is also centered around you taking that leap of faith. Because if the world is watching you or if a few people are watching you and you're afraid to take the leap of faith, chances are they will not take the leap of faith. So you taking that leap of faith is empowering, is inspiring, is uplifting, and is also provoking a fulfilled lifestyle. And again, it is when we are facing our fears that we feel alive the most, right? When we're on that plane and we're risking our life to get to another state, we are absolutely risking our life. When we are risking our life to uh, go bungee jumping or go on a roller coaster, this is what feels alive. And that is only when you're facing your fears that you feel that. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading. Don't forget to leave your comments down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, I'm gonna move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and where are you currently on your soul mission or soul journey? Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be so serious. Get grounded, empath, highly sensitive, connect with nature. Break the chain, ancestral pattern, healing, rewriting the future, the initiation. Wow. So on your soul mission, you are in the initiation. Now, let's see if you've actually taken that. Okay, so you haven't taken, um, so you're going through initiation right now on your soul journey. Now, another thing is you are an initiator in your life entirely. So breaking the chain means that you're here to also rewrite the future. Um, this means that you don't have to live a life that everyone says that you do. Um, you don't have to live that life. But I'm also feeling like you, your spirit is really trying to break free here and you're kind of like um, caging it, if that makes sense. So your spirit wants to feel alive, wants to be free, but your mind keeps like saying, now is not the time. You know, we have to wait until this. And so you're here to really establish freedom. So you haven't exactly went through the initiation, um, but really your soul journey seems very fun, very fun and um, also very adventurous. So increase awareness, deep connection, trust your inner voice, rise up, dance with the universe, steps are being taken. So right off the bat, I can tell you deck number four, that you are not going to uh, live a life based on the template that was here before you got here. Meaning the template of how we should live our life. You, it's not gonna work for you. It's not gonna work for your spirit. In fact, it's gonna feel very uh, suffocating if you, if you live a life that you feel like your mom lived or your dad lived or your grandma lived. You're actually here to break the chain. So there is ancestral patterns that have been uh, passed down through um, traditions, right? And so we've picked up on them and unknowingly or subconsciously have adopted those traditions and lifestyles. You are being asked to go through initiation uh, by yourself. And by yourself means your own beliefs um, and your own truth, okay? So you're also a empath, like I described in several of my videos, an empath is like a sponge or a magnet. And so people and energy tends to latch onto you. Uh, this tells me that it could be very overbearing but you're learning a lot about yourself right now and learning about the fact that you can uh, be your true authentic self. And this simply tells me that your soul mission uh, was given to you at a very young age, meaning when you were young, when you were free, when you were playing, when you were having fun um, at that young age was absolutely when you were being most true to your soul mission and journey, in which most of us are. Um, but it seems like you've kind of gotten caught into the patterns of life. And so right now you're going through the initiation and discovering more of who you are. And with increased awareness, trusting your inner voice, uh, this is more so about uh, understanding who you are, okay? Disruption, seek the truth, yeah. So this is about finding the truth for yourself. Uh, now, a lot of things that have occurred into your life were also to get you to this point. 
in your soul mission, in your soul journey. So seeking the truth is also figuring out what you believe outside of the patterns, outside of the traditions. So this is simply saying, why are we, why do we live this way? Why do we do this? And is this true to myself? Because again, your spirit is like literally trying to jump out um, for excitement, for something that is adventurous, that something that makes your spirit feel alive and, and your mind is kind of like keeping it in this place. And so you're on this path of seeking the truth for yourself and what you are believing that is true to yourself. Because remember, we come here alone, we die here alone. And it's very important that you have your own foundational beliefs so that you can be at peace when you, when you transition this lifetime. Queen of Cups, the Empress, Five of Pentacles. So it seems like a lot of things have occurred in your life that have uh, caused you to be stressful or caused you to overthink things or caused you to feel like that. That what I'm feeling a lot with you is there's a lot of limiting beliefs around creating. There's a lot of limiting beliefs around abundance. Um, there's a lot of subconscious beliefs. You guys could be a Pisces. You don't have to be. We do have Pisces energy here. The moon card tells me that you have yet to discover entirely who you are. Okay. So this moon card, if, as you see on the card, this person is looking at the mask in their hand. Okay. They're looking at it and their heart is on their sleeve. They have no idea who they have or who they have become. They have no idea who they are because they've chosen to be something that they weren't. And this is kind of what you guys are um, being asked to do is challenge yourself to being your full self. Is this my true self? Is this my truth? Or is this, was this passed down to me? Why do I believe this? And does this give me peace? Does this make me feel happy? Does this make me feel fulfilled? So subconsciously, you have yet to discover the, the parts of you, okay? You're going through a period of transcendence. This is just, again, moving towards your true authentic self. As an empath, um, it seems like the things that have occurred in your life have really um, discouraged you, right? Even if it was abundantly, because we have abundantly and emotionally, and just with yourself, I feel like, it is totally fine to not know entirely who you are. And in fact, most people don't and they pass away not even knowing who they are, not knowing the greatness that they have within them uh, because they've chosen to believe something that they are not. You are being challenged to go through this initiation, but it's going to require you to rid all of your limited beliefs and perspectives. Three of Pentacles, again, we have Pentacle energy. When I show my work, others give support. I am always rewarded for all that I do. It's like you are so solely focused on survival. And so the initiation of living your life based on faith is not even there. And that's why we have play. Don't be so serious. It's, it's to get some new energy into there, to get some youthful adventurous energy so you can remember like deck number four, you have to really ask yourself, why am I here? You know, am I here to just work like a slave and pay bills? No, absolutely not. But if you're choosing to believe that, then this has become your reality. Or am I here to just survive? Or do I have to wait to book vacations because I can't afford it right now? All of these things that we have told ourselves are limiting us in our spirit from wanting to break free and live a freeing life, um, even in nature. Um, so I feel like there is definitely a disconnect and a lot of you are focusing mainly on survival. And so again, the moon card, twice. My intuition guides me to the right direction. So there needs to be more intuition and less practicality, less logic of, I have to do this, this, and that, or I will not survive. There are other options, there are other ways. And so universe and if where you are on your soul journey is trying to establish some sense of faith and spirituality so that you can understand that this is absolutely possible. Discontent and boredom. Yeah, you're not living a life that is fulfilling and exciting, spiritual strength. So again, you guys are totally in survival mode, but right now you're in your soul journey through this initiation, you're gonna be challenged to trust your inner voice. You're gonna be challenged to start going after the things that you're passionate about. Um, again, it should not take for us to have to lose everything before we wanna take a risk in, um, in living in happiness, success and growth. So again, the things that you worry about the most um, are unnecessary because it's just who you are. Uh, and with the success and growth, darkest fears. Let's talk about this. Observe throat chakra. So darkest fears, you guys do have some dark fears. And again, it's almost like where you are on your soul journey is like the initiation is there, but you don't see the door because you're focused on the things that you feel like you have to. 
like surviving. So your darkest fears are, are not surviving, not being financially stable, um, not providing for your family, uh, not being able to do the things that you have to do. So you're you're living more so a life that you feel like you have to rather than a life that you absolutely have the potential to. There's a big difference here. So in your soul journey, it's going to take you um, getting rid of these fears that you have that are pretty much crippling you from living this life. Remember, we have been taught and we have been trained since we were younger to feel like money is hard to get, that um, the world is in poverty or whatever the beliefs are that we have adopted. We must have a good education to have a good job or uh, we must do this or people will abandon us. There are a lot of fears that we've been instilling from a long time and so spirit is asking you to start um, examining those fears and those limitations because you are not here to live in fear. You're here to break the chain. In order to break the chain, you have to have this desire to be free. Your spirit is very playful, very adventurous, loves to see new things and is highly sensitive. So another thing that I'm feeling like for you is with the observant part, we have increased awareness and observant. Remember that we are not our thoughts. We are the observer of the thoughts. We are the one that is aware of the thoughts, right? Your thoughts, that somebody owns these thoughts, but you are not the thoughts, okay? So you are being asked to transition to a much more higher, um, higher dimension. Even what I just said about your thoughts, no other group got that for me. Why? Because they're not ready. You're in a place to receive this. And so with these cards, you have to trust more of what feels good because you're an empath rather than what you think is good. Your mind has got you to where you are now, but now in order to go through the initiation, you have to feel, you have to use your senses uh, because you've been gifted to do that. And then also with the throat chakra, um, trusting more of your voice, speaking up more, um, you're here to break the chain. And so now you may not be doing it, um, but I do see that you will start to help others break the chain as well. And that's when your soul mission starts is um, when you're able to speak up and tell people that you can live an adventurous fun life and we're not here for a long time. So you might as well enjoy it while we're here. Okay. Never ending story. The survival, <laughs> the matrix, the way that society has chosen to live um, we're here, you're here to rewrite the future. Therefore, this never ending story has to end. This cycle has to end. Regeneration, yeah, absolutely. So you're rebuilding, you're regrowing um, a new perspective and creating, even with the Empress, you are creating and here to create. Um, so I have to tell you that you have the power to do that because I don't know if you've known that. Chop wood, this means that you will have to get rid of some things, some beliefs and some limited perspectives that I have mentioned earlier. Prosperity, there's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So your soul mission, part of your soul mission is also to be successful and to also grow in prosperity. So the things that you fear the most are, it's very interesting because you're here to be abundant. So the fact that you choose to fear that you will not be that tells me also that you're not exactly sure who you are. When you know that you're abundant, you don't fear being something that you already are. So that's what you're being challenged to do is to kind of move towards um, choosing to believe the greatness rather than the survival mechanisms that you have been adopting. So all in all for you, deck number four, uh, you're transcending, but you're also coming to a place. And some of you, I feel like have went through this initiation and are learning. And, and again, this is not just a mission that you just complete overnight or even in a month. There are numerous stages of your soul mission. Once you go through this, this initiation, you will be challenged to break chains and break chains within you. Why are you doing certain things this way? Why do you feel like you have to do this? Why do you continue to be here if it does not make you happy? So you're going to be challenged to um, build your spiritual strength and to do something differently, but also allow your intuition to guide you to the truth. Um, and remember that this is all about seeking the truth and you haven't yet discovered it just yet. But one keynote that I want to leave with you guys is seeking the truth is also seeking yourself because when you know who you truly are, that is the truth. And there's nothing more to adopt. You are great. You are abundant. You are here to enjoy life, to be adventurous, to be free. That is the truth. So when you start seeking the truth, you will realize that that is who you are and you don't have to be who you've chosen to be or who you are not. So if you guys chose deck number four, I'm hoping this gave you some clarity and guidance. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement back to you guys. In the meantime, thank you for tuning into this pick a card reading. I will see you guys in the next pick a card reading.